Okay, you can see here I've created a, a new table called rentals. Uh, the last thing I need to do on my rentals table is actually change the date borrowed field so it's not a text field anymore. I'm going to change the data type and I'm going to change it to date and time. Is I want to make a relationship now. I want the rentals table to be linked to the videos table because if you remember the videos table, if I just open it and show you, the videos table has got all the film details in. What we want to be able to do is if somebody comes into the video shop and they want to rent a video, we want to be able to choose the video for that person um, and put it into their data. So the person's name and, and so on will be filled in in this table. But rather than have to type the film in every time someone borrows one, it would be good to just to be able to choose it from a list. So here where I've got film title, I'm going to choose the drop down list and I'm going to go for what's called the lookup wizard. And in the lookup wizard, when it opens, it says I, I want to be able to look, look up the values from another table. That's what I want to do, the top value. Now if I chose the bottom value, it allows me to type my own in. So if I had a, something like the genre field where I wanted it to say horror, action, drama, things like that, I could just type that list in and then every time I would just be able to choose from a drop down list. But this time I'm going to go for the top one and I want to get it from the videos table because I'm already in the rentals table. I'm going to go for the vi videos table hit next and what am I interested in? Well I'm going to take the ID field and I'm going to take the film title. Now it's interesting I've got to take the ID field because that's the unique um, code for each film but I don't need to show that I just need it to save that so it knows how it's linked together. So I take the ID and the film hit next. Um, if I want to sort I can sort maybe by the film title so it's alphabetical. Hit next and here you can see it's already ticked. It says hide the key column and it's recommending that. If I took that off, it would show this each time. It would show the ID number as well as the film title, which is very annoying. It's good that it saves that information, but we don't need to see it. So I'm going to hide the ID column. So all I'm going to see are the film titles. I'm going to hit next. And what do I want to call it? That's fine. I'm just going to keep it as the word film and hit finish. And I'm going to save my table. Now, if I look at my table in normal view, okay, now I could type in something in here. Um, let's have a look. Let's make my first customer can be called Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse wants to choose a film. Okay, there's my drop down list. I can choose he's going to watch Terminator. And there it goes. Now, when I create my form for this rentals table, in my form, I will also have a drop down list. And that will choose anything from the other table. So now my two tables are actually joined together. If I hit save um, and now that's it. We're done.